What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville back with another video. I got a couple uh, requests or comments on my YouTube channel yesterday by a couple ladies that wanted to see a skincare routine and a makeup routine. And I thought that was so sweet of you guys. So thank you for you guys who asked. You know who you are. Um, I personally, and I'm not trying to beat up on myself, but I don't think I have like flawless skin. It's actually, I feel like I have dry skin. I do not break out. I know that. I don't have like oily breakout skin. I never get zits. Um, but I don't think I have glowy skin or anything. But thank you for the compliment. And... So we're going to do a skin routine, I guess. Basically, I'm going to show you guys what I do to my skin. It's not a lot. It's nothing fancy. And all these products are drugstore products that you can find at your local Walgreens, to be honest, or Walmart. But I'm going to show you. And then I'll show you my quick natural makeup routine. I have a whole get ready with me in my videos. It's literally called get ready with me. If you want to see full hair, full makeup for a work day. Um, I'm actually, it's nighttime. I'm home from work. I'm in my little uh, long john pajama set here. Got an at Old Navy. Might as well show you guys the little vibe. So... Here's the vibe. It's just a long john set <laughs> with some slippers. I am really comfortable, to be honest. It's not all about glam all the time on my channel. You guys know that. I don't always do my makeup and hair to do a video. I do a video when I feel like doing a video. If something comes in my head that I want to share with you guys, I'm going to do a video. I don't have to look good to do it. However, I might throw on some eyebrows or something, but other than that. <laughs> so let's get into the video. I'm going to start using these. I have a little bit of makeup, just some mascara, eyebrows. I don't think I really did much today, to be honest. Mascara and eyebrows. But I'm going to use these little Wet n Wild. These are a dollar at Walgreens or Walmart. Wet n Wild makeup remover with moisturizer. It's got mineral oil as the moisturizer, um, but really it's just, it gets your makeup off pretty good. I like them. I tried them once and I kept using them. So I'm just going to gently rub. These are really soft like a baby wipe. I'm just going to rub my makeup off my eyes because that's where my makeup is. Just a little bit of mascara. And then I'm going to also, well I guess I better do my whole face just to get some of the oil off, but I'm going to show you my next step. While I'm doing this, I want to address something. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining us. And um, my name is Joy Neville. I've lost 141 pounds currently, and I'm on a health journey and um, to get my mind and body healthy. And I like to share that with you guys and help other people get their minds and bodies healthy. I also share other things like this, if requested, try on hauls, vlogs, all that good stuff. So. If you like what I stand for and you want a positive person to follow, yeah, subscribe. Hit the like button. I also have an Instagram at Joy Neville Health Journey. And you guys, we've hit 200 subscribers. I know that's nothing compared to thousands or millions that some people have. But to me, I have 200 people subscribed to my channel that are watching me, that comment, that, you know, say such kind words to me. Positive people and I love that so thank you to every last 200 of you that hit that subscribe button thank you for sharing my videos thank you for liking them thank you thank you thank you you have no idea how much it means every time you hit that like button or you share one of my videos because in the words getting out and then I'm helping more people and it it really does make me feel good okay so now close that the next thing that I personally normally do, so we're going to do it because I'm being real here, and it's almost empty and the bottle's a hot mess. It, the seal's falling off. There's just a little bit left, but we're going to use it because I like it and it works really good. It's by L'Oreal. <laughs> you probably can't see it. L'Oreal. 
and it's called Clean Artiste Waterproof and Long Wearing Eye Makeup Remover. Suitable for sensitive eyes. It's fragrance free. It's by L'Oreal. It's in a little green bottle. And it's just a... The reason I like it is because it takes the waterproof mascara off. I just rub it right over the mascara and the eyebrow and the eyeshadow if you ever have any. I don't have any right now, but it takes all the mascara off immediately and it doesn't hurt my eye. It's not something that most stuff I put on my eyes, I'm very sensitive. My skin is sensitive, my eyes are sensitive, and this has no fragrance. I don't feel it on my eyes. It feels like it's basically water. I know it's not because it just it works too good to be water but look at that like done all off you guys are about to see joy with no eyebrows this is me no eyebrows just blonde little eyebrows <laughs> so that's to take off your eye makeup this is to take off anything on your face and then Obviously, we're going to use some good old warm water, cold to warm. You don't want to use hot water. And I'm just going to get a soft facial wash rag. I don't use anything rough. I don't exfoliate my face like this. This is the most you're going to see full exfoliation. It's just a wash rag. And I'm just going to circular motion with warm water. It's almost cold. It's like tap water. And I just go in and make sure my face is clean before you know you apply any makeup I do this at night before I go to bed too but also before I apply any makeup this is something I do I'm moving so my camera's like freaking out and getting blurry it's alright camera calm down I guess I have to move slowly <laughs> I said there was something I wanted to touch on so I'm gonna touch on this while I'm doing this so water in a rag that's what I just did two more steps and we are done and on to makeup I use this about twice a week like in the beginning of the week and toward the middle of the week this takes all the oil the grime the dry skin the buildup that you can't get off your face with water and soap or lotion or whatever it's this this is called micellular cleansing water it was like four bucks three bucks it's not that expensive and it lasts a long time my cellular water there's tons of brands this one is defense daily defense my cellular water it says there's no scent it's um, hydrating you don't need to rinse it there's no alcohol no residue gently removes makeup oil impurities blackheads it's for all skin types for sensitive skin and so I just put this on the same rag that has the water on it and I just put a few dribbles on it and again just lightly now circular motion to get the dead skin off I do not put this on my eyes it's a little bit I can tell it when I rubbed it in my eyes before it stung a little so I only put it on my face and my neck someone asked me the other day I'm almost 40 years old I'll be 40 very soon in March I'm a Pisces and I appreciate your guys's comments saying I look good for being a grandma so thank you appreciate it okay here's my natural face we got a little bit of baggage we ain't got no eyebrows you know I've got some loose skin but other than that I mean I don't have acne and it ain't horrible so we'll go with it and at night time before bed right before I get in bed sometimes this doesn't always happen because I'm lazy but sometimes I'll put this on my face if my face is really dry I got this at Ross they have it at TJ Maxx too it's called skin refining face serum it's got collagen in it it's got vitamin C in it it's all natural it's an oil and it helps detoxify, moisturize, and brighten the skin. I do not always use this, but it does help moisturize if your face gets overly dry. So this is something you could put on at night to help moisturize your face while you sleep. I do use this regular one every day. This is just, um, I also use um, Cetaphil, I think. It's a non-fragranted non moisturizer. I also use that. 
but this one is non-fragrant too. They didn't have the Cetaphil last time I went, so I found this one. It's from Sally's Salon, or Sally's Makeup and Beauty. It's a facial moisturizer. They also sell these at beauty salons and stuff. And this is Beyond Belief, Poor Purifying Daily Moisturizer. It's just a non hypoallergen or hypoallergenic, non-scented, gentle moisturizer. Nothing fancy. You should not, in my opinion, and from what me and my friends have looked up, you should never put scented creams on your face. I don't know why, but you just shouldn't. From what I hear, it breaks you out, makes your skin oily. It's just not good for your face. So I'm just, again, circular motion, rubbing that moisturizer in, getting the neck. And if you're somewhere where the sun's out a lot, we live in Washington, we barely have sun. It's like out two months out of the whole year. But if you're somewhere where the sun's out a lot, put on some SPF. I heard that was great for your skin. I do it in the summer. I do not do it in the winter. And that's all I do, guys. That is my skin routine. And again, if I was going to bed and my face was dry, I would put on some serum. Anything with vitamin C, collagen, um... What's the other one? There's a couple other ones that are good for your skin, but vitamin E, anything like that is good for your moisture, for your skin. Natural stuff, you guys. Sometimes I even take avocado and put it in my hair and put it on my face. Just cut up an avocado. That's also good if you have dry hair and dry uh, skin and let it sit for a while. So these are my things I use. Eye makeup, if you're someone that wears waterproof mascara, it's by L'Oreal, Clean Artiste, a couple bucks, Beyond Belief, Pore Purifying Moisturizer, fragrance free, hypoallergenic, and then I like the micellular water, they have tons of brands anywhere you go. This really gets the blackheads, the grime and all that. I do not have any of that on my face. No blackheads, no zits, none of that, but my face does get dry. And it's probably from this, to be honest. But Other than that, that's my facial routine. It's not nothing fancy. Um, we'll get into the natural makeup. And I'm going to touch on that subject I keep wanting to touch on. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So here's Joy with no makeup, no eyebrows, no nothing. Kind of plain. <laughs> Let's get started. The subject I wanted to touch on while I'm doing this, we are going to go in with the Wet n Wild. This, you guys, I don't do all those 50 steps of foundations. I'm not a makeup guru, so let me just put that out there so I don't have anybody come for me. I'm not teaching anybody makeup. That's not me. Trust me. I just got a request to do this, and so I'm showing you what I do for my natural look that you guys see 80% of the time on my videos. There's sometimes where I look like this, but a lot of the time, this is what you're gonna see, just a natural, glowy routine. I don't even know if it's glowy, but somebody said it was, so we'll see. But Wet n Wild, these are like a dollar, maybe two at the most, at Walgreens, Rite Aid, um, Walmart. It's just a Wet n Wild concealer stick. And this one is in the color Nude for Thought. So, so what I'm going to get into, I'm looking in there to do this, but I really need to look here, so somehow I'm going to have to, how am I going to do this? Yeah, you guys can see me. So I'm putting on my eyelids and just around my eye. So what I wanted to touch bases on is yesterday, um, I weighed myself. I've never weighed myself on my channel. Um, I just never felt a need to because I put up before and after pictures. Sorry, guys. I put up before and after pictures constantly. So I just never felt a need um, to put my weight up. So this is all I do for cover-up. A little dab here. Eyelid around the eye, kind of where you would put highlight if you used highlight, strip of the nose, dab here, dab here, that's it. That's my whole cover-up routine with one little stick. 
So, what I was saying is, and I don't use a beauty blender, I'm old school, I'm almost 40, I use my fingers, very lightly. And remember, I moisturize, so my skin's already moisturized. Um, yesterday, I put up my weight, is what I wanted to say. The reason I did that, and we're going to keep this short and sweet, is I got a little message from a girl, you know who you are if you watch my channel, um, on Instagram, and she said, I find it hard to believe that you're around 140 pounds, considering the way you look. Um, I think she said you still look curvy or you still look big or whatever. Basically saying I do not look like I'm 140 pounds or in that area. And that basically like I was lying. And I took that very offensive, but I'm almost 40 years old and I promote positivity on my channel. And so I was not going to feed into that negativity and give her any kind of response. No, ma'am, I wasn't because that's not my style. And if you guys know me by now, that is not my style. So I ignored it and blocked it out because silence to me is the best enemy. And I'm not going to give you the time of day giving me that negativity you gave me. So I'm going to put that out there and then I'm going to say, that's why I weighed myself yesterday. Just because, and I know I didn't have to, I know you guys love me, I know you guys can clearly see my before pictures and my after pictures. You can clearly see that I've lost 141 pounds in my pictures. Some people think I lost, you know, a couple hundred pounds because I was so big. But, and then common sense would tell you because I was so big, I have a lot of loose skin under these clothes. Well, when you wear tight clothes and you shove loose skin into them, it still looks like fat and it still looks like you're curvy and you're thick. And that's my body type. Um, unfortunately, I don't have money to get skin surgery, nor do I think I want to. I don't know. I'm debating. I don't know. I'm going back and forth all the time. I want to finish my journey and see what I look like. And um, so I have a lot of loose skin. And... Um, that's why I look bigger than I guess the average person that weighs 137.8 pounds as of yesterday. That's what I weigh. So if you take someone else that's maybe 5'4 and 137 pounds and me that's 5'1 and 137 pounds and you stick us next to each other, she's going to wear a thong bikini and I'm going to wear a one piece probably with a little swimsuit cover. It's just it is what it is. And if you take someone, two people that are five foot tall, one that has never lost any weight or never been big and was born small and skinny, and then one like me who's lost a ton of weight and I have to shove all the skin under my clothes, I'm definitely going to look different than the one that weighs the same as me and has the same height as me. We're just not going to look the same. But I just want to put that out there. I want to say don't ever compare yourselves just don't. I'm going to do eyebrows now. Don't ever compare yourselves to somebody else because we all look different. Don't look at the models in the magazines. You guys are like six feet tall. Let's be real. So I'm just going to brush over this and hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I think you can. Don't ever compare yourselves to anybody else because you are who you are and you're never going to look like somebody else. God gave us all individual bodies and I used to do that. I used to look at other people and be like, well, she look, she's 160 pounds and she looks skinny so when I get to 160 pounds, I'm going to have a six pack and I'm going to look skinny and that's not the case because I'm 137 pounds and I still look like I have weight to lose. And I still need to tone up. And I have skin stuffed under my clothes. Do I look way better than I did? Of course. But in reality, I'm not going to look like, you know, someone that has never had weight loss. And then I'm not done with my journey. So again, someone that is done with their journey has lost all the weight might even look a little bit different. But I show you guys my size clothes. When I'm trying them on, you guys know I'm about a medium in tops and a size 10 in jeans. I mean, you can't lie about clothes. The tags are on them, you know. 
even though they lie about sizing all the time, let's be real. <laughs> so I just wanted to put that out there. As a woman, you're on your own journey. Don't let anybody get in your bubble. And don't let anybody tell you, well, you should look like this or you should look like that. And Because that's not the case. All our bodies are different. All our bodies are going to look different. You know? And I'm sure if I would lift weights and work out more, which you guys know I'm struggling with and I'm working on, um, I'm sure I would look more toned. And I'm sure I would tighten up my skin a little bit quicker than I am. But for the most part, I'm doing what I'm doing. I've lost 141 pounds. I've kept it off. And February will be four years. So I'm doing something right. So I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm just going to say, don't go, oh, she's a size medium, so I have to be a size medium. No, someone could be a 1X and someone could be a medium, and they could look exactly the same. It's just dynamics. How much skin do they have? Did they have kids? What is their bone structure? How tall are they? And so that's all I want to say about that. That's the only reason I put out that video with my weight yesterday. I told myself I would never put out a video of my weight because... I would never want to shove that in somebody's face because to me that's glorifying the scale. Even though I think the scale is a handy tool, I don't like to promote that on my channel that you should just follow the scale. It's a tool. It's not something to live by. So did the eyebrows. So I just wanted to put that out there guys. And I let this person kind of rain on my parade for a second. And I thought, you know what? No. I'm going to shut her down without my words and just hop on the scale. And then I was going to explain to you guys why not to let people rain on your parade. Because eventually, on your journey, you're going to run into a hater. Whether they're comparing your weight or questioning why you're doing it or telling you you shouldn't do it, eat the burger, whatever they're doing, you're going to run into them. And so I'm just warning you guys now. Don't let them rain on your parade. So what I just did with my eyebrows, I just kind of lightly brushed them in. I used an e.l.f. pencil. It has a little brush on the end. This was $2 at the local convenience store. I think Walgreens is where I bought this, or Walmart. You can turn it up and down. It's like a little crayon. And it's called Instant Lift Brow Pencil by e.l.f. And this color is, I think, blonde brown or dark blonde is what it is. So, and it works really good. I always try to match my eyebrows to the roots of my hair. So, so cover up under the eyes, eyebrows. This is really simple, you guys. And I know I'm going against all the makeup gurus out there going, oh, she's doing it wrong. I know. I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a big makeup person. So now I'm going to go in real quick with this. Now this is the only thing that's a little bit of money, but it's not that bad. This is a Huda Beauty. This is at the makeup stores. Um, I can't even remember what... The, Ulta. Ulta had this. Ulta Beauty Store. This is called Nude, and it's Huda Beauty. I love it, you guys, and it looks like a mess in here, and you can tell my favorite colors. <sighs> this one's almost gone. It's a cream white color, and then this one's like a peachy, natural, peachy, orangey, peachy color. It's my favorite. It just looks very natural, but I also love the pinks, these creamy brown oranges. Yeah, it has a lot of glitter ones, too, that I'm sure some people that do good makeup could get down with. But I'm doing just a natural. This is Joy's look. This is what I do. So I'm going to take that, that cream color and go right on the eyelid and just windshield wiper it. Making sure you guys can see. This just kind of brightens up my eyelid. And then I also take it and I just go right under the eyebrow bone a little bit like that. Again, it's just opening up everything. Maybe this is the glow you guys are talking about. I don't know. 
I just love the fact that you guys asked me to do this. I'm like, my daughter-in-law is a makeup guru. I have a friend that's a makeup guru. My cousin's a makeup guru. I am not. So it's just so funny that you guys asked me for this. So thank you again. I know I keep saying thank you. It is really easy, I'll say. If you're someone that doesn't like to take a lot of time doing makeup and you want to look like good in 10 minutes or so, so now I'm taking that natural, it's like a peach. You can buy any peach at any store. Wet n Wild has one for 99 cents. In fact, before I got this, I used blush on my eyelids. And it was from the dollar store, and it's a peach too. It looks good as blush too. It's just a peach color. It's hard to see, but... Yeah, so the, those peachy tones to me just give you a natural look. So I'm going to go right in on that little middle crease area, that like bone or shadow, and I'm just going to enhance it. And I'm just windshield wipering it back and forth. And I'm just going to do that a few times on each eye. Do it again on this one, right on the bone right there and work your way over and back and just windshield wiper it. You can kind of see it. It gives it just a little natural shadow. Then I'm going to take a darker tone than this. I usually go right below it to this one. So this is the next darker one and barely touch it. Yes, I'm using the same brush and I know it's a big no-no. <laughs> and I just go right here. I don't know why I do that. I don't know if, I don't know. I just think it looks nice and I just brush it windshield wiper it right in that area I don't move it all over it gives a nice shadow effect because it's a little bit darker and I, I just feel like it makes my eyes pop a little bit because I don't have long eyelashes or big eyelids or anything or big you know eyes so this I just feel helps a little bit so just a little dab on the tip and I'm just putting just a little right there and just smudging it in on both sides and then I'm gonna tap it all off and then blend it right in there and then I'm gonna go right in that crease and blend that dark color just into the crease a little so it's all blended I don't have any on my brush And then once it's blended in there, that's all I'm doing with that. Okay, next I'm going in with a Wet n Wild dark brown pencil. They're 99 cents. I swear by these. And I don't sharpen it too much. I leave it a little bit dull so it kind of gives a smudge look. Again, I do it very light right on my, hope you guys can see, right on my eyelash line. I don't do my water line. I do right on my eyelash line. Very light, like almost barely touching my eyelashes. And then I'll bring it almost all the way in, but not, I don't do this corner. So I bring it all the way to the finger. So where my eyelashes kind of stop, that's where I stop. And it just gives this kind of natural smudge type of enhancement, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, I, I like it. We'll just put it that way. I don't know the technology for what I'm doing, but I like it. And then I'm going to do this eye the same way. It's hard to do it in the camera though, guys. Just 
Just gently. And in the morning when I'm going to work, I can do this in about 5-10 minutes. It's just because I'm kind of showing you guys the products and trying to focus and go slow. It's taking a little bit longer, but yeah, this is a very quick routine with very cheap, simple products. All my products, this is my makeup basket, but my products that I use for my everyday natural look go in this little bag, and that's it. It's really simple. So that's it for that. And then, sometimes, if I want to enhance my eyelashes, sometimes I lift and I color those too, the eyelashes. I have to look in the mirror for this so I don't poke my eyeball out. Again, I just go very lightly and it's like you're coloring your eyelash. You can feel them rubbing on your eyelashes. And you can even do your waterline in there if you want to. Some people do the eyeliner on the outside. Most people do the eyeliner on the outside. You know, like the winged eyeliner or something. I don't do that. See the difference between the top of this one and the top of this one? It just kind of gives a little bit of definition to the eye. And I'll do the same to this side. It's so funny, like, that I'm so willing, I guess. Like, you guys ask me. I only had two or three people ask me to do this. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. It's not a big deal. So if you guys want to see a video for whatever reason, like they wanted to see a skin routine and my natural makeup routine, I'm always down for uh, options and opinions of different things to do to replace my meal preps in the meantime. Someone did give me an idea to take those crepini crepes that I've used in one of my meals before and make a, a low carb lasagna or a keto type lasagna. Someone else, um, and she also told me you can make low carb, low calorie enchiladas. So I'm thinking of doing that and feeding it to my family. I don't think I can eat it because it's a meat and I have to eat soft foods, but I could do it for my family or my daughter-in-law or my friend or something. Now, you guys, I love this mascara. I swear by this. I swear by this. It brushes your eyelashes so they're not clumped. It's just good. I love it. It's called Lash Love Fan Fanorama. 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 Lash Love Fanorama. This is by, I don't know if you can see it, Mary Kay. My sister sells Mary Kay. So if you want it, I'll give her, I'll give you her information. These are good. I love this. Not advertising thing, but these are good. That's where I got this. But I have a whole bag of mascaras that equally work good. But I just, I'm in love with this. So thank you, sissy, if you're watching. Okay. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, I'm thinking of meal making a lasagna or a low-carb lasagna or low-carb enchiladas out of those crepinis. So, if you guys are interested in that, let me know, because I think that's a good idea. Thank you, Erica, for the idea. So now I'm just, you know, you guys know how to do mascara. I'll be back when I finish. Alright, did the mascara. It noticeably gives me eyelashes. <laughs> I don't have long eyelashes. I do not wear falsies. I know that's a thing. I don't do it. But you can see it's starting to come together. I like to have a little bit of um, blush and a little bit of contour, I guess it would be called. I love this. I swear by this. I've been using this for about three or four years, maybe more. It's called Maybelline New York. It's by Maybelline. You can buy it at Walmart. You can buy it at Target, Freddy's, Kruger, or Kroger. Um, Master Contour by Face Studio, Maybelline. Master Contour by Face Studio. 
I got the darkest one. They have three tones, light, medium, dark. I got the darkest one and it works for me. And it has the highlighter, the blush, and the bronzer. I'm not a big fan of the blush, but I do use it. It's all right. I'm more like a peachy blush, as you guys know. So I'm using my Dollar Store, Dollar Tree peachy blush. That's almost gone. I gotta go get another one. <laughs> I love this. And I just have a little blush brush. This is Renewal. It's a Rite Aid brand, but I love it. It's fluffy. And I just do that. Just a little bit like that. Go back in. I don't like a lot of blush. I don't want to have pink cheeks. And that's it for that. Then this brush is my favorite for contour. It's a medium. It's an e.l.f. brush. It was like $1.19. I love it. The bristles are really soft. So I'm going to go in with the brown. Just lightly dab it in, tap it. And for me, you can see naturally, I haven't even done it yet. Watch this. That's my bone to my face. That's my shadow, my natural shadow. I know they have rules. Put it high, put it low, do this, do that. I just follow my natural bone because I want a natural look for my face. So for my face, that's where it is. So that's where I'm going to keep it. And I just bring it in to about halfway and I go back and forth. And then to get in the hairline a little bit, We're going to do like a three or an E. So I'm going to go like this, brush it in, into my hairline, come down like the E or the three, and then go back down, dab a little tiny bit more, get my earlobe, because I want my earlobe blended in. And then I'm going to go right there on my jawbone. So it looks like a three. See, like that. So that's how I do my contour. And I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I did my contour. And then I take the leftover and I dust it off. I don't want any on here, so I'm just using the container to dust it all off because technically there's still going to be some on there. Then I pinch it. I actually have a brush for this that's very skinny. They sell them if you, if you don't want to do this. At Elf sells them. And I just go like this. One side of the bone, other side of the bone. And then I go back to regular and gently just dust my nose. And the only thing I don't want to touch with this is the middle. So you can see my natural shadow and that's all I'm doing is enhancing that a little. One side, other side, dust off the tips a little and get the sides. And that's what I do with my nose. And then I'm not getting any more on here. Now I'm just going to blend into my waddle neck. I have loose skin down here so I like to blend this all in so I don't have, you know, like a line or a shadow. And that's it for that. And we're almost done, guys. Oh, and I take a little tiny bit of highlighter, not a lot. My fingertip, just a tiny little smudge of it. And I go right there, just a little bit. Another little smudge right there on your Cupid's bow. I like to do a little bit right under my lip and right here on my chin. And then I do a little bit right here. Same with this side. Put it 
right there and then I just put a little dab right here and then of course just dab a little bit on the forehead and that's it guys I don't think I forgot anything besides my chapstick or my lip gloss and lately I've been loving this it keeps your lips so soft it's by Vaseline and this one's called Lip Therapy Pink Bubbly. It smells like flowers, like roses. I prefer fruity. I didn't know this smelled like roses, so my lips smell like roses all day. But it's really good. It makes your lips super soft. It's just a Vaseline. I just take my fingernail and I get some out. And I old school it. <laughs> it makes them so shiny. And then I go back in with the brown and lightly, ever so lightly. Line my lips. And it just gives a very natural, a natural look. And that's about it, guys. This is my natural. A lot of guys don't even know that I'm wearing makeup. Uh, my husband, for years, didn't know that I was wearing makeup. He thought I just put a tiny bit, you know. And I do put a tiny bit compared to some people, so I'm just washing my hands now. But this is my natural look. <laughs> I don't know how to pose for these, but. <laughs> you know the, the um, picture on the YouTube is going to be one of those weird faces I just made. The, um... I forgot what it's called. The thumbnail. <laughs> Anyways, so that's it, guys. That is my skin routine and natural makeup routine. So this is how I do my makeup and my skin every day, every day, all day. And usually my hair would be down with the waves in it. Um, and again, I have a get ready with me where it shows all that outfit, hair, makeup, everything. Last thing I want to say is, you guys, I found out my test results from my CAT scan. My kidney's fine, my liver's fine, my pancreas is fine. My intestine had a blockage that I guess had been getting bigger and bigger for months and caused adhesions, which are small tears in my intestine. And um, it was from my gallbladder being removed. My gallbladder got removed, long story short, last year. And because I eat such a lean... Um, not so fatty type of like health journey diet whatever I didn't have um, enough fat apparently to move things along but I was eating tons of fiber so I don't I don't understand exactly all I know is I had adhesions in my intestine and a blockage but good news is the mineral oil I've been taking and the soft foods and liquid foods have pushed the blockage down um, through more and now I just have to work on letting those adhesions heal so I have to stay on a soft food liquid diet for a couple more weeks I have a follow-up appointment and I'm probably going to do a colonoscopy shortly just to make sure everything's good but yeah so nothing horrible nothing bad happened and I'm gonna be okay I just have to stay on the soft food liquid thing for a couple more weeks but we will figure it out. I'll be doing some cooking, some meal preps of some sort for somebody so I can show you guys some good ideas. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Thank you for saying you wanted to see my skin routine and my makeup routine. I appreciate you guys. Leave comments. We can chat it up. Love you. Um, I think my husband wants to use the restroom. So <laughs> I will talk to you guys shortly. Have a rest of the good week. Today is Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, so we're moving on into the end of the week. Have a great week. Love you guys. Stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to say one thing. This is different lighting. So I just wanted to show you guys my makeup in a little bit different lighting. And yeah, that's that's about it. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Mwah.